Hey, what is up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher and today I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to do a cell phone voice uh, for a short film or a commercial or whatever you need done. So it is super simple. I'm going to show you inside Premiere, but this concept works for any other video software, um, you know, any other video editing software, whether it's Sony Vegas or Final Cut Pro. Um, and you can also do this in a lot of audio editing softwares as well. So we have the third episode of our film and then they came, um, which is also in the whole episode of and then they came. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here, right here to, we have this scene where these guys are talking and I'm going to play through a little bit of it so you can kind of hear. Hey, Andy, Andy, can you hear me? Hank? Hank Brill? Yeah, uh, we need your help. It's been months, man. What happened? We're in pretty deep and we believe... All right, so you can see we kind of cut back and forth between and the way I like to direct things is... Whatever you're seeing, you want to be hearing what you should be hearing. So when we're seeing his clip right here, we want to be, if we're going to hear um, our, can, our, excuse me, this is our character Hank, this is our character Andy. So when we see Hank, we want to hear Andy as if we are Hank, so through a cell phone. Problem is, how do you do that without recording it through there because it sounds terrible? So what we did is we recorded the audio completely normal. So I'm going to zoom in here. And we can see right here that, let's say if we were to, so we it's hear been his months, voice. man. What happened? It's been months, man. But we cut back. So what we did is we add a simple thing called a high pass filter. So if you go into whatever your editing software is, you just search high pass. Let's say we want to do that entire thing with that. Now, again, this is kind of based on preference. You have to kind of see what works. Personally, I found anywhere from 400 to 700 kind of a sweet spot. You could push it a little bit more, but I found that's the best for most people's voices. So let's hear it without the high pass filter on. What happened? We're... It's been months, man. What happened? And then if we turn that on. It's been months, man. What happened? So you can see that's kind of low. We're going to need to turn. Oh, you know what? I think it actually changed back on me. Oops. It's been months, man. What happened? So again, we need to probably change the volume on that, um, but it's pretty simple and it's pretty straightforward. Um, obviously, like I said, this can be used for a lot of different things. Um, you can also use a low pass filter for doing something underwater. So let's say this part right here. The bigger things are going on. Can you? Uh... Let's say you want to make it sound like he was underwater. So we put in a low pass filter. Drop that on there, and again, let's bring it down to like 500. Deep and we believe bigger things are going on. Can so again, that's kind of cool if it's something's muffled, if you wanted to do, um, you know, maybe somebody underwater, like gunshots underwater, something like that. But I think the key to selling this effect is having these good edits here. So these edits where we see... So we hear, you're going to hear it right now where it crosses over from his voice on the cell phone sound to then the low pass filter being off. We're in pretty deep and we believe... So I think things like that are what sell this and what make this... Um, you know, sound real. So anyway, that was a real quick tip and effect how to do the, uh, you know, voice on the phone effect. Um, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments down below. I definitely would love to hear some ideas for more videos and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed.